Hi everyone, this is Angita back again and today I'm going to be making a falada which is kind of like a like a rice kid but it's made it's not made with rice it's just made like these flakes there and um, it will be available at your local market it's called rice ada and I've boiled about four cups of water there that's about a liter I'm going to see oh, there's something here and uh, I'm going to be adding this. Uh, this is less than a cup. It's close to a cup, I would say. I'm going to be adding the boiling hot water. And I'm going to be covering it so that I bloom. And uh, I'm going to be leaving it like that for about uh, 15 minutes. So uh, what I uh, did was I drained all the hot water and this is what I have left over. And I'm going to be adding the milk to the instant pot. I'm going to be adding whole milk. If you don't have whole milk, that's fine. Today I had whole milk, so I'm adding whole milk. Just uh, what you do is uh, you would add uh, uh, one person milk and then you could add uh, carnation, uh, evaporated milk on top of that. I'm going to drain this further. It. I'm going to actually slow cook it for about two and a half hours. This strain off all the water. I'm going to be adding uh, sugar as well to this before I actually close the instant pot lid. I'm going to add sugar everything and, and it's just going to be uh, getting cooked at that point uh, and, um, typically you do not for the pradhaman you do not um, add um, uh, saffron but um, I just like the flavor and the smell so I'm just going to be adding a little bit and it gives a beautiful color as well <laughs> just a pinch should be more than enough and I am going to be adding, uh, so I added about um, uh, six cups of uh, milk. I'm going to be adding a couple of cups of uh, sugar. I'm eyeballing it because I've done this often enough, so I know how much sugar goes in there. Just a little bit more. And that's it. And this is going to be a uh, slow cook for about two and a half hours. Um, so the the Pradhaman is done. You could uh, slow cook it for however long you want. So initially I started with um, uh, cooking, slow cooking it for two and a half hours and then um, I uh, checked the consistency. It was not really uh, enough. And I actually um, ended up um, pressure cooking for about 10 minutes and then slow cooking again for about six hours. And that's the consistency you get. So no need for evaporated milk or anything. It's just like, this is the perfect consistency. I'm just gonna be plating it. Oops. There it is. That's the Pradhaman there. And you could um, enjoy it with, uh, uh, you know, just just as it is, or sometimes like uh, they would, people would eat it with like uh, buffer downs. It's like a Kerala uh, delicacy. So, um, or just eat it um, plain. Thanks once again for watching the making of Pradhaman. Uh, please like, subscribe and share and comment down below what you would like me to make next. Thank you.